Los Angeles, the nation's homeless population increased this year for the first time since 2010, driven by a surge in the number of people living on the streets in Los Angeles and other West Coast cities. The U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development released its annual point-in-time count Wednesday, a report that showed nearly 554,000 homeless people across the country during local tallies conducted in January. That figure is up nearly 1% from 2016. Of that total, 193,000 people had no access to nightly shelter and instead were staying in vehicles, tents, the streets and other places considered uninhabitable. The unsheltered figure is up by more than 9% compared to two years ago. Increases are higher in several West Coast cities, where the explosion in homelessness has prompted at least 10 city and county governments to declare states of emergency since 2015. City officials, homeless advocates and those living on the streets point to a main culprit, the region's booming economy. Rents have soared beyond affordability for many lower-wage workers who until just a just few years ago could typically find a place to stay. Now, even a temporary setback can be enough to leave them out on the streets. A lot of people in America don't realize they might be two checks, three checks, four checks away from being homeless, said Thomas Butler Jr., who stays in a carefully organized tent near a freeway ramp in downtown Los Angeles. Butler said he was in transitional housing, a type of program that prepares people for permanent homes, for a while but mostly has lived on the streets for the past couple of years. The numbers in the report back up what many people in California, Oregon and Washington have been experiencing in their communities, encampments sprouting along freeways and rivers, local governments struggling to come up with money for long-term solutions, conflicts over whether to crack down on street camping and even feeding the homeless. The most alarming consequence of the West Coast homeless explosion is a deadly hepatitis A outbreak that has affected Los Angeles, Santa Cruz and San Diego, the popular tourist destination in a county where more than 5,600 people now live on the streets or in their cars. The disease is spread through a liver-damaging virus that lives in feces. The outbreak prompted California officials to declare a state of emergency in October. The HUD report underscores the severity of the problem along the West Coast. While the overall homeless population in California, Oregon and Washington grew by 14% over the past two years, the part of that population considered unsheltered climbed 23% to 108,000. That is in part due a shortage of affordable housing. In booming Seattle, for example, the HUD report shows the unsheltered population grew by 44% over two years to nearly 5,500. The homeless service area that includes most of Los Angeles County, the epicenter of the crisis, saw its total homeless count top 55,000 people, up by more than 13,000 from 2016. Four out of every five homeless individuals there are considered unsheltered, leaving tens of thousands of people with no place to sleep other than the streets or parks.